Hey, what's going on guys? Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadow Gun Legends today. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the ribbons and the medals. We're going to talk about ribbons farming. So what is ribbons farming and why would you do that? First of all, there's a lot of different ribbons in the game and each ribbon is associated with a medal. So you're going to have to do uh, these ribbons multiple times to unlock the medal. Why would you do that? First, reason would be just for fun because it's pretty cool to have all the ribbons and all the medals so it could be one of your long-term goals in the game it's a game but it gives fame okay so people like to farm fame for some reason the main reason to farm fame would be for most people to unlock all your perks on your gear and your weapon there's a bunch of ribbons to do stuff in the game and i don't have all the middles if you look at the left uh, this right here is explosion kills, so get 25 kills with explosion to get the ribbon, and then you're gonna need 10 ribbons to get the medal, so I'm at 6 right now. I never use grenades, I never use rocket launchers, so I could be farming these ribbons in missions. I will show you some tips today to farm these. And then there's the pro explosion ribbon, that is 6 kills with explosions in 5 seconds, so you don't have many opportunities to do that in PvP. Uh, like uh, duels 1v1 there's no way you're gonna get that right so you're gonna have to find spots in uh missions to do that uh i'm also working on secondary kills so i'm using rocket launchers i get the, the point is try to get or try to farm multiple ribbons at the same time the thing i'm gonna do right here is like farming five to six ribbons at once doing the same thing over and over again so i'm gonna go out in a blue mission with rocket launcher so i'm gonna get explosive kills I'm gonna get pro explosion kills i'm gonna get pro secondary and at the same time i'm gonna use some skills before i do my kills so at the same time i will be working on some stunner ribbons i will use a uh, supercharger for some reason i will explain later because the mission i'm doing sometimes is, is spawn two extra enemies so when i get a lot of enemies i will spam my rocket launcher in the in the pack trying to get as many as possible and I think supercharger will also help because if I see less enemies I will go for another one it's gonna be probably pro pistol five kills with the pistol in 10 seconds but this one right here guys the hitman ribbon is four headshots in six seconds that is not so easy you're not gonna have many opportunities to get four headshots in six seconds not in duels not so much in uh, ascendancy like how you get four headshots you gotta be damn lucky are very very good I don't know you need a good good spot so here's the trick okay I got a great mission it's an operation mission <clears throat> and I I mean I'm not seeing it's the best mission before you guys type in the comments I got a better mission than you it's much better than you yo I know you guys have better spots than me probably if you already know about ribbons farming but what I'm telling you is try to look for something like that okay when you're gonna do operations if you find a good one that you have a huge pack of enemies right at the start that you don't have to waste a lot of time and you can just reload and do it and reload again don't finish that mission don't complete it just do your thing and then exit to hub and reload and then exit to hub okay so this is the mission i found until i find a better one i'm using that one when i feel like having fun and farming ribbons it takes a minute or less just to load that mission check it out at the start right off the bat okay all right, let's go. Tap to continue. That is the start of the mission. So let's go. I look always look at the left. Sometimes the two enemies will spawn here. Now I open the door and look at that. Okay, I will get two enemies on my right. One here. Uh, the one's not dropping is gonna drop. One on my left. I shoot that box here and then I swap to my rocket launcher because I don't want to kill something. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got five enemies here. So I'm just gonna go at the end, they're all gonna come to me. Then I'm gonna wait, so they're all gonna be, it's like a funnel, okay? So they kinda have to come right at the same spot, right? So I'm just gonna let them cross. All right, so I'm gonna stun and supercharge and then, boom, I got a kit here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, boom. So, did I get it? Yeah. So I got four headshots. That was ugly, by the way. I'm going to show you a bunch of replay. I got four headshots. And the worst thing that's going to happen... Oh, that's another headshot. I was not even playing. Am I going to get another one? Oh, almost. Anyways, 
Nah, I'm not even playing right now. It's auto, it's auto shoot. Okay, so one thing that can happen, I'm gonna get the four headshots. If I fail, I'm still gonna get the pro pistol kill. Anyways, just exit to the hub and then reload the mission and do it again. Back to the medals. I now have 11 Hitman ribbons. I think it's 25 for the medal, but you know, it's a hundred something theme per ribbon. And the worst thing that can happen is you, you fail your headshots, but you still get the kills. So you're gonna get these pro pistol ribbon, five kills in 10 seconds. You're gonna get that easy anyways. So you're still getting fame even if you fail. And at the same time, I get like five or six kills, okay? So I get some stunner kills. So at each time I get 25, it's, it's gonna accumulate. So if I do five, six, seven kills, so every four or five missions, then I'm gonna get another stunner ribbon. I don't need, oh, I still need the medal. So just getting kills with the stunner to get medals. This one I don't need though is the supercharger ribbon. I already got my medal, but I can still get 90 extra fame every time I get 25 kills. So you, you're working like four medals at the same time. Pistol kills also. But another thing that can happen is I get the two extra enemy, the spawn at the start. So instead of going for the headshots, I will go for a big rocket shot to get this secondary pro. I get a pro explosion at the same time. But on top of that, I also get the stunner and I also get the uh, supercharger. Now, if you're done with most of these, you can just swap your skills and keep doing the same thing. But let's say instead of stunner, I could go uh, survival kit. I never use survival kit, but I need like 25 kills 25 times. So I'm gonna show you a couple more replays of how it goes. All right, so I start the mission again. Look at the left, you see the two enemies spawn. So instead of five enemies at the end, I will have like seven. So when I see seven, I will swap. Instead of the pistol kills, I will go for the rocket kill. So here again, I kill the box. I got these three enemies to spawn. I will go straight to the back. All right, so here I'll do it again. I got seven, I stun, I supercharge. I shoot the rocket. Now I got stunner ribbon because it was 25 kills. I also got explosion because it was 25 with the explosion. Pro secondary ribbon and then pro explosion ribbon. So it stacks a lot of fame if you're working many ribbons at the same time. You get your kills ribbons, uh, secondary explosion and uh, stunner and supercharge. So you, they stack and then every couple runs you get extra. Now I exit to the hub and I reload. Then again, same spot. I go back, get the enemies in a bunch. Stunner, supercharge, boom. Secondary ribbon, then what? Pro secondary, and then pro explosion. So three more ribbons, getting some fame. And that's a lot of fame in a short amount of time. Exit to the hub, reload. Now I only have five enemies this time. So stunner, supercharge, headshot, 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 I think. So I got what? Hitman ribbon again. And then I'm gonna exit to the hub and reload and do it again. Now you're gonna see that last one. I had to show you guys, but you know the legendary pistol, it shoots a burst of two bullets. So this was a bit lucky, but again, I'm gonna go for the headshots. So check it out, okay? Boom, boom. Uh, burst rifle got two headshots, and then I had to kill two more. It was just random, but pro pistol ribbon and another hitman ribbon. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the replays, but let's look at the medals again real quick. So the ribbons, there's a lot of them. Uh, you should take some time to read the ribbons and try to plan ahead. What do you want to do this time and how you're going to do it? What's the most efficient way to do it? But there's many reasons, like I said, to get fame first. And as you can see, my uh, legendary pistols, like these last perks, they take a while to unlock. But all of a sudden, I'm almost done because I start farming fame earlier this week. I used to never do PvP and I still don't do much PvP. That's the way to get fame if you want to unlock your perks faster. So guys, that's going to be it for today already. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, you might not find the exact same mission that I have. But what you should look for is something similar. Just try to get a good spot really early in a mission. Don't want to waste one minute just to find a bunch of gray mobs, okay? It has to be early at the start. If you cannot find one, just finish your missions and then claim three more missions. And try to get a good one you're gonna find one for sure uh, other things that could be good is when they have a swarm of spiders or really uh, weak enemies that die fast okay you're not gonna get headshots but you're still gonna get grenades 
or uh, rocket launcher explosion kills and stuff like that. So really uh, wish you guys good luck farming your ribbons, get all your medals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it for real. Leave me a comment below if this video helped. Leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos, and I will be back soon. Take care, guys.